relationship is once again in the news after Kobe called out Shaq's work ethic by saying that he would have had 12 rings if the big man could stay in shape. Shaq quickly fired back, tweeting that Kobe would have had his 12 rings if he would have passed the ball more. <laughs> the exchange started getting a little bit of buzz. Kobe made sure on Twitter that everyone knew that there was no bad blood between the two former Lakers. Kobe tweeted, there is no beef with Shaq. I know most media want to see it, but it ain't going to happen. Ain't nothing but love there. And we too old to beef anyway. Hashtag three Pete. Shaq then responded to Kobe's tweet with a head shot at the Lakers' new big man, Dwight Howard. It's all good, bro. When I saw the interview, I thought you were talking about Dwight. Is that how you spell his name? LOL. So LOL. W-I-T-E. He's such a jokester. Uh -huh. uh, fortunately for the Lakers, Dwight Howard took the high road on social media saying that he did not see Shaq's tweet, mm -hmm. that he is focused on the upcoming season. So, Shannon, wow. what do you make of all this? A lot there. Kobe is right, and so is Shaq. But I got what, Sh what Kobe was trying to say. And I think Shaq took it somewhat as a slight because he mentioned you don't get a statue in front of a building if you don't work hard. And I don't think anybody said Shaq didn't work hard, but Shaq could have worked harder. Shaq could have ate better and had a longer career and even been more productive than he actually was. Yep. A guy of Shaq's talent doesn't need to go from Orlando to L.A. to Miami to Phoenix to Boston to Cleveland. That's Skip, fair. that's not how it's supposed to be with a yep. guy like that. Shaq should have never been a journeyman. Mm -hmm. Shaq's too good to be a journeyman. Okay. Shaq, did, Shaq worked hard. Yep. But if Shaq had to work, and the question was posed, mm -hmm. if Shaq had had your work ethic, Kobe, mm. Kobe said he would have been the greatest. That's not to imply that, yeah, some of these guys work hard, but everybody doesn't work hard uh, to the same degree. Because sometimes people mistake habit for hard work. And my grandpa used to always tell me and my brother that. He said, son, don't ever mistake habit for hard work. Because some people do that, oh, I went to the gym, or I got up early. Okay, you got up early, what did you do? Mm. Mm. You, I mean, if you just get up early and don't do nothing, what have you done? Mm. Well, if you just go to the gym every day just because it's habit, that's what you do at 930, but you ain't getting anything accomplished. Mm. Is that habit or that's hard work? That's you know what? Your grandfather should have written a book. <laughs> so many. He, he was a combination of like Confucius and Gandhi and Ben Franklin. Yeah, and I, I was like, I, and when he was telling me all this thing, I'm looking around like, why are we living better than what we are? You got a, mm. you got all this knowledge and we living in a thousand square foot cinder block, mm. but that's neither here nor there, Skip. <laughs> But I think what Shaq is also saying, Shaq knows the reason why he got up out of L.A. is that Kobe went to Dr. Buss and says it's either him or me. Shaq made it easy for Dr. Buss to shoot, choose Kobe because I can assure you, Skip Bayless, mm -hmm. if Kobe had gone to Dr. Buss yep. and Shaq was the Shaq in 2000, in 2001, mm -hmm. Dr. Buss would have said, Kobe, I'm sorry, but you got to go mm -hmm. because you're not getting rid of 30, 14, and 2.6, Skip. You're not, at that time, the big man was still dominant. Yep. Shaq and Tim Duncan were the pre premier players in all the basketball. Mm. But, and Kobe, and Shaq is like, hold on, bro. <laughs> you started wanting to be, like I said, you started wanting to be that guy. He did. So you stopped passing, and you started, you know, doing what you did. Got no problem with that. But don't make it seem like I'm the only reason that we didn't win. Skip, there, I, I still think there's a little, little undercurrent there. I think both guys are trying to take the high road because, like I said, they're older now. Shaq's in his 40, Kobe's approaching 40. Mm -hmm. And I think there's, but there's still an undercurrent there. But I do wish this. I wish Shaq would leave uh, Dwight Howard alone. <laughs> yeah. Shaq, you were the best player in Orlando Magic history. He went to L.A. and he's still, you're a better player in L.A. than he was. Mm -hmm. You are a better overall player. Why you bring this man into this scale, Skip? Mm -hmm. Why he bring Dwight? Dwight minded his own business. And, and Shaq knows good and well, nobody's ever spelled Dwight like that. He knows good well. Oh, he knows. <laughs> it was like the ultimate jab. And put Can't you just picture him laughing no, as he was he's laughing. Yes, yes, it? Like, yes, oh, I got him. Yes. I got him again. Yeah. And you could see he got him in Dwight's post because Dwight looked pretty meek and sort of. Well, he was, I think he was doing IG Live or something, and he was talking, did you see what Shaq said? And he's like, no, I really didn't see what Shaq says, yeah. but uh, it's about me, it's not about Shaq, and I'm just worried about what can I do to help the Lakers this time mm -hmm. around. So he took the high road. I just wish Shaq would do that too. Mm. <laughs> I'll get to Dwight in just a second, but I gotta get back to Shaq. So this is what I believe, to your point about there's still an undercurrent. I think that undercurrent 
is high voltage. <laughs> it's under, but it's high voltage. And I believe that Shaq was stung by Kobe's comments. Mm -hmm. And I believe it hurt him to the point that what he did, po there were comments on IG, that both of his comments were fueled by anger. That they felt that they had some undercurrent mm -hmm. of anger to them. And I'm good with that because this is just me. As much as yesterday we both agreed with what Kobe said, yeah. after I stepped back from it and slept on it, it was a low blow. It was out of bounds. It was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. It's one of those just let it go and leave, let it lay. Right. You know, just we. It, especially with, given you guys' history. Yeah. It wasn't like you were always buddy, buddy. No. There was a lot of butting of the heads. Yeah. And even though you've tried to make amends, I mean, uh, I think yeah, Kobe showed up for uh, Shaq's statue unveiling. He did. Shaq was there he for was the last the, game. His last game with Shaq, sure when Kobe went for, what, 60? Yeah. He was there. And they've tried to make a peace, but, you know, sometimes, it's, okay, it's trying to heal. This wound is trying to heal, mm -hmm. but sometimes you pick a little piece of the yeah. scab and you start to expose it. And even though Kobe tried to undercut it by saying, hey, I've told Shaq this to his face. And we sat and I've told and him Shaq this. And Shaq even said it. Yeah, okay. That's all well and good, but telling him to his face is one thing. Yeah. But putting Saying it out it there. publicly is quite another. Right. So what was the circumstance and venue? Kobe was a paid speaker at an insurance company convention. Right. George W. Bush was also a keynote speaker. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to say he got a bunch of I have no idea what he got. Come on, Father. Oh, please. How about a mill? I don't know if he this, can, is, this is big. Nor, normally, I think right now uh, 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 President Clinton and, and President Obama command that. Right okay, now, well, I think Kobe too. Bryant could command that. Yeah, and it's Brady does one out here in Santa Monica mm -hmm. most years with Jim Gray. You know where he gets a Q and A. Well, that's for people that don't want to hear anything being okay. said. Right. So that's well, why they right. go. Well, that's fine. That. So I'll sign right up. So Kobe was being <laughs> interviewed in front of the crowd, and and obviously because he's being well compensated, right. he feels like I got to give you something, something, right? Yeah. yeah. And so he reaches for oh, we would have won twelve if. He'd stayed in shape. Well, well, between the lines, he's saying if he hadn't gotten fat. Right. And it's it's a pretty harsh thing to say publicly this many years right. after the fact. I'll give you an example, Skip. If some, Look, we believe that Carmelo worked out. I mean, you don't go to 10, 11 All-Star games and be an All-NBA player without, you know, working hard. But do we believe Carmelo worked as hard as LeBron? No, absolutely not. And that's what, that's basically all. The proof all... was in the pudding as in the pudding he might have eaten, but right. you could just see it. <laughs> right. Right? And you could just look at the two bodies, bodies. and say, okay. And I believe that's, that's, that's what Kobe was trying to say. Yeah. Yes. And because they posed the question, if Shaq had had your dedication. Yep. If he had worked as hard as you did. That, that's true. And, and then, Skip, that's what, that's what the, uh, uh, the interviewer asked. And Kobe's like, he'd have been the greatest. We'd have 12 rings. But Shaq was like, but Shaq too is like, oh, you said I didn't work hard? Well, how did I get a statue? Yeah. How do I have four yeah, rings? How do I have fair to Shaq? Right, right. Is. Yeah, he did get right. a statue. Yeah. Yeah. And would they have had 12 rings if Kobe no. had passed the ball more? No. <laughs> no. Would they have beaten the Pistons? Maybe. Yeah. Just maybe, because that was the the peak of the clash between You and Shaq I just and believe with that tandem, that might be the greatest. I mean, you can make, a, okay, maybe you like uh, uh, Magic and Kareem. Maybe. But they're the one, two, they're uh, not falling out of the top three. Mm -mm. I think everybody just believed they should have had more titles than the three that they won. They I think have. that's, be, what, from 96 to 04, they were together? So I just believe people believe that, in that what, 10, uh, 10 years span, or look, eight, yeah, nine years? Sure. They should have had more than three. Totally I think agree. that's what people are getting at. Now, I don't know if they're going to get 12, Skip, but they should have had more than three. And I think that's okay. the... The, uh, what Kobe's trying to get at, yeah, we won. We had great three-peat. Mm. Uh, one of the few teams that can say we three-peated. Yep. But. Okay, so then Shaq tries to defuse any potential ongoing beef with Kobe by turning back into the jokester that you talked about, the fun-loving yeah. sort of cartoon <laughs> character Shaq. Right. And he takes a little shot at Dwight, you know, kind of... Like the biggest, easiest target in Shaq's universe, <laughs> Yeah, right? he's definitely low-hanging fruit. Okay? And he is. I hate to describe anybody as low-hanging fruit, but, but again, I like Dwight, but, but he never... You don't have to reach to get an insult. You, you, you just don't. Yeah. So now we see him on whatever you said it was, IG Live. I think it's IG Live. Okay. 
And, and to me, it just comes off as like kind of mopey and lifeless. Like he, he's, he's not defending himself. There, there's no, because he's trying to sell us that he is now reinvigorated. He is. Yeah. Okay? A rebirth. I, I, I didn't see any no. reborn. Rebirth, here, I, yep. I, I didn't feel any new energy from him. Like, I'm here and I'm going to prove you wrong, Shaq. There was nothing. It was just, just kind of like I believe like he's going weak. through a rebirth. Really? They say in order for a man or a person to go through a rebirth, he must go through a, a reconstruction as the most dilapidated building. Mm. Mm. The proof will be in the pudding. Mm. My thing was, how did he, how did Shaq and Kobe, how did Shaq leap to Dwight? Where did Dwight Howard come from? He was just trying to go back into lovable Shaq, and that's a way for him to be lovable and funny is to poke fun at Dwight. It, you know, it all comes from the Superman. That's what this is all about. That's yeah. true. I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> that's, what, yeah. that's what it's all about. Like Shaq is Superman. He, right, yeah. right. Orlando Shaq yeah. was yeah. Superman. Yeah. He still has the big S and a lot of the empty in his, in his uh, vehicles. Yeah. And the heck of the white, like, big man, he's Superman. Yeah. Shaq like, nah, mm. we already had Superman in Orlando mm. way before you got here. Well, all I got to say is two Lakers have a whole lot to prove this coming season. One is your guy and one is Dwight. Have my guy, uh, have my guy ever let you down? Yeah. The proof is in the pudding. He gonna prove it. You mean the Wash King? Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll talk about the Wash King. He's up to mm. something. Okay. okay. All right. We gotta move on to talk about Dak Prescott. Yes. Well, Unless it's been too long. Made. We haven't talked about him the whole you show. Him briefly at the beginning, mm, but I want to make sure you have your time. So he may not have made the most recent top 100 players list, but Who he did him? make a different Finally. list. Yeah. Let's see what yeah. he thinks yeah. about this one next. <laughs>